Well, today was such a unique day, weather-wise, sky-wise, astrologically-wise. It was, <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic being oh, able to see the uh, eclipse. I think the kids were excited, too. And mm -hmm. it's hard to beat today. So, Steve, the pressure's on to top it. But you're going to try and do that, aren't you, with these temperatures? Yeah, I don't have another eclipse for you tomorrow. <laughs> but I do have some 70-degree weather. Potentially some spots if we get a little bit more sun near 80 degrees. Today and tomorrow, best weather days of the week, and then we kind of slide downhill. All right, a live look outside, as you can see, with our picture tonight from the Maryland Science Center camera, which was a packed house today with eclipse viewing. We are looking at a warm Tuesday with temperatures mid to upper 70s, many places. A couple places may flirt with 80 degrees. It's a mainly dry day, maybe a late day shower. A few rounds of showers here on Wednesday. It's not a wash of a day, but at times you need, need to uh, pop up in the umbrella. But like I said, not a washout. Thursday, heavy showers and storms, mainly second half of the day and into the evening hours. Friday, it's a windy, cool day. Looks like the showers now on Friday are going to hang around for a good chunk of the day, but should be out of here for the weekend when it really matters. Live sweeping radar, nice and quiet here on this Monday evening. Where's the severe weather tonight? Well, it's down in Texas. They saw the eclipse and now they're seeing severe weather. So severe weather will become a possibility around this part of the country potentially Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. We'll talk about that in just a second. First, to your Tuesday, 50 degrees, sunshine at 7 a.m. Look at the difference in three hours. We're up to 64 at 10 a.m. in the morning by the afternoon, mid to upper 70s. Even though there's a good deal of cloud cover tomorrow, may not look like the nicest day. It's going to feel pretty nice out there. 79 in the Inner Harbor, 78 Columbia, 78 Sykesville, uh, Westminster. You'll be 78 tomorrow, 76 up in Cecil County. Uh, Eastern Shore communities, if you're right along the bay, it's going to drop back down into the 60s tomorrow afternoon with your traditional early spring bay breeze. Pollen, there's a lot of stuff in the air, so rain will actually help flush that out, except for the mold count. That'll stay high. So here's your future radar. Notice tomorrow evening, after about 6 or 7 o'clock, some light showers moving on through. Another round of showers here. Wednesday morning, so probably a damp morning commute. Nothing severe, but just give yourself some extra time with the wet roadways. And then we really beef up the rain chances Thursday and into Friday. That's when we get a more significant chunk of this storm system. Notice the wind arrows. It will turn extremely windy uh, Thursday into Friday. Winds gusting 40, 45 miles per hour. Not to mention there could be a line of heavy thunderstorms that moves on through that drops a quick inch to inch and a half of rain. The last thing we really need is rain. Look at the rainfall totals this year compared to last year. Last year we were kind of uh, nose diving into a drought. This year our yards are like swamps. So 77 degrees on Tuesday, 74 on Wednesday, a few showers early in the morning and then the afternoon stormy on Thursday. And then as we look at the weekend, looking good. Guys, over to you. Thank you, Steve. Well, Derek, I'm uh, excuse me, Steve. <laughs> Derek's not here. He's enjoying the uh, eclipse today. For more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Cena Gabber, Ab, Amy Kawada, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ, starting at 4:30.